Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, it's good, it's cool. And today we're doing something a bit different uh, from what I usually do. Uh, so I'm doing a little organizing uh, video. I um, recently acquired like a few of these like tree organizers. I got these from Paka, which is like a UK website, which I didn't know of before. But I think these, you can find these on Amazon. You can find them on Amazon, they're probably the same, but I'm just trying to look for alternatives to Amazon because I don't want to support that company, you know. I've got them to organize my kind of face products uh, drawer, which is like blushes, uh, bronzers, contour, and like highlighters and a, like setting powder and all that sort of thing. Uh, so hopefully they will work well. And yeah, I feel, I know some people are really into like these kind of decluttering or organizing videos and I know I am because I'm trying to improve how I organize mine. So hopefully you enjoy that. <laughs> Real quick, before we get started, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Armand. I love cruelty-free makeup, skincare and organizing properly things, even though I'm a very messy person. So if you're interested in any of these, topics, hobbies, whatever you want to call them, then feel free to subscribe for some more similar content. I would love to have you and let's get started. I'll just move you into the corner with my makeup towel. <laughs> Hello. I'm here. <laughs> These are my arms. Um, <laughs> Sorry, this is a bit unusual for me. So, yeah, that's not me farting, that's the bed creaking. Um, so, this is my drawer with like all my kind of face products. So I've got my kind of blushes here, not kind of, these are my blushes. I've got some face palettes, actually I've got others that I could probably bring in. Some setting, setting powder, bronzers, contour, etc. Um, so uh, what we need to do first is take out everything, because this I'm probably not gonna use anymore, because the, the other trays are a bit more modulable, so a bit more practical. So these are my brushes. Some setting powder. Pardon oh. moi. Um, well, these are like the kind of shit that physicians formula give with their uh, powder products. It's really annoying because I don't know what to do with them because I don't like th just throwing away stuff but clearly I'm not going to use them so I don't know. I'm just going to put them on the side for now. Hey, let me bring other products I just used. Here we are. These are products I just used for the makeup. That's what we have. I'm wondering if I shouldn't actually take them out so I can place the trays. Let me take out all the palettes and keep only compacts for now. This is a compact, so I could probably keep it. Cool. All right. So the trays I've got, the trays I have, there's like basically they can go into each other, but there's like different sizes. So I think these are gonna be tremendous for compacts, which is why I bought them. This is a lot of like wrapping things. That's kind of annoying. But I'm thinking we'll probably kind of separate them in like different. Traits like this, fairly straightforward, eh? So, I think we could start with... Um, should we do highlighters first? Because, um, let's see if they can fit easily, so... So, the different highlighters I have, I have the uh, Revolution... Uh, what is it called again? Highlighter Reloaded, just my type. Uh, Tellerwin kept talking about it in her channel, I ended up getting it. It's a very good highlighter, kind of peachy. It looks like it could be too dark for me, but it just works very well. It has a nice little, like, peachy undertone. <gasps> this fits perfectly. This is amazing. Um, so yeah, I've got Fenty Beauty, which, I mean, Fenty Beauty is not, is in the gray area. We're not sure if they're cruelty free, but I did buy this one, uh, just pretty much one of the only two things I own from Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is in Lighting Dust and Fire Crystal. Um, so yeah, just like a cl classic champagne highlighter. I actually don't use that very often. I should probably use it more often. 
This is the, actually I'm gonna put them at the front because I probably use these a bit more often. They fit, fit. Um, this is the Goddess of Love Triple Bay Highlighter from I Love uh, Revolution. Uh, really gimmicky packaging. Uh, it's, this is a very wet highlighter, kind of like sparkly, but it doesn't really look super sparkly. But just looks very wet, if that makes sense. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't use that very often, but I kind of fancy the wet highlighter. Um, I got that one. Cool. And finally, I think are these all the highlighters I own? I guess so. I've got this Moonlighter from Black Moon Cosmetics. So, and this is in the shame Glow Warm. It's fairly subtle. It has kind of, it's a kind of green highlighter. Uh, but yeah, it's quite subtle. But it's kind of a, I don't know if you can see. It has kind of a dual chrominess to it. I don't use that very often. It smells like Shepherd, which is quite lovely. Cool. And should just put them like this. And just put that one at the front because it's the one I use the most. And voila. That's pretty decent, I think. Lovely. Uh, let's do blushes now. Uh, no, let's do my bronzers first because I don't have too many and I, I think it should be quite quick. So I'm gonna use another one of these trays because they're quite practical. There you go. Just move that out of the way. <clears throat> so I don't have a huge, huge, I try to limit myself. Highlighters I have quite a bit more because I have this one sitting at the top of my... <laughs> These are from Kaleidos, but I, I really love the highlighters, and I don't feel too bad buying powder products because they don't really expire super fast, so I don't really mind having them for too many. That's more like foundations that I feel guilty of. Cool. So, blusher. Um, let's start with the compacts because they'll probably be the easiest to kind of organize. Him. Cool. I've got these two uh, from Milani. Um, these are like the, um, I can't remember what they're called, rose blush, like the powder brush or the matte blushes, I can't remember, it doesn't say, it just say powder blush, uh, but they have like the uh, rose imprint. Uh, this is in Coral Cove, it's probably one of the first blush I got, because I really fancy the coral, I love this colour, it's so beautiful, let me swatch it for you. I really love how pigmented it is as well. Like, you can really build it up. You can get it fairly natural with like, well, you can get fairly natural and kind of a very soft flush, but you can also build it up and get it like very nice, which I really like this. This is my favorite type of blushes. Um, so I'm gonna put that here for now. And the other one I have is uh, Romantic Rose. This I don't love as much. I love this color, like, uh, I'm obsessed with that kind of mauvey pink color, but it's probably the color, I don't know if it's the color of the formula, but I don't find that I can build it up to be very visible. It just barely shows, so if you're looking for barely there kind of blush, this is really nice, but I like my blushes to be really, really visible. So, uh, I'm thinking of buying, and it might be just a color, but KVD uh, Beauty has um, a blush of that color, I think it's called Rosebud, and I've already ordered it because I really want to get, I don't know if I mentioned it in my wish list thing. Uh, anyway, I'm just still babbling. It's organized by colors, about formula. Let's just keep like the same one together. I think that kind of makes sense. Um, okay. Um, still with Milani, let's go with the huge classic Luminoso, which is like a peachy pink with like a strong gold reflect, kind of that Naruto Gar orgasm vibe, you know. Um, I really like this color. Uh, 
I'm not a big fan of like shimmery blushes, but I started finding a way of using them, which is like using them as a topper. And this is beautiful as a topper. So else I feel like it makes my cheeks too metallic. -y. So yeah, actually maybe I should, let's separate shimmer blush or like glowy blushes from matte ones. That probably makes more sense. Cool. Another blush I own is the e.l.f. Uh, Primer Infused uh, Blush. This is in Always Rosy. It's a nice color, but it shows up a bit more red on my face, I find. But it's like a nice little dusty pink. I don't love that formula. I don't find it to be... It's quite pigmented, and I don't find it to be... Um, as blendable as I like. I feel like kind of when you place it, kind of stick in that spot. Maybe it's my way of using because people are obsessed with it. But I still like it, I think it's just I need to use quite a fluffy brush to use it and be cautious. Uh, but yeah. KVD, uh, their, I think it's their Everlasting blush. Yeah. This isn't a color poppy. I barely use this. Because I thought it was going to be much more of an orange on the pictures online and it's described as like a sanguine orange or like a blood orange. She's so pretentious. Shut up, it's fucking red. <laughs> uh, but it shows uh, like proper red on me. It just looked like I got sunburn. But it's such a nice formula. It's so pigmented but you can really uh, blender, so I love that little like component that they come in. So yeah, I ordered a couple of those. Hopefully they won't be too close to what I already own. Uh, and if not, maybe I'll like the formula better. But I think I could use it for like more artistic looks and stuff. So uh, I'm quite happy keeping it. I mean, I don't have too many blushes at the moment, I find. So finally the last kind of uh, matte blush I own, it's actually a duo. This is from Kaleidos. They actually, uh, th this is their lo fi duo blusher. They obviously discontinued it uh, fairly quickly. I think it's probably because I've, I think uh, they want to really re release them to be more inclusive, which I think makes sense because they only had two colors. They had that peach and they had like a pinky one, but they were fairly light. Um, but yeah, that this is my peachy blush, so I've I've been really uh, enjoying using it. I don't use this as much, but I think I might start using it as like a blush topper. I think that can work if I use this quite generously, and then later on I kind of like just mix them and like use as a um, yeah blush topper. It's quite deep, so I can't really use it as a highlighter. But this is beautiful. It's like a gold pink duo chrome. Let me see if I could swatch it for you. I'm pretty didn't do this right. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible with swatches. I swear to God. But this is like um, kind of fuchsia pink with like a gold reflect. It's pretty stunning. It's just I I don't I didn't find a way of using it. But like cool. I think I'm happy with this for now. Uh, do I have longer trails on the No. So I guess I could put another one if I need to. Um, cool. Uh, let's do my three uh, glowy blushes. I think that'd be everything for blushes. So as I said, I have the Milani Luminoso. This is a beautiful one. I've got the Butter Blush from Physician's Formula. So Physician's Formula is not cruelty free anymore. I'm just uh, trying to use uh, my Physician's Formula product up. Um, and this I kept because I, I do really like it and actually it is in my project pan and I find, again, I find a way of using it because it's like low, so I use it as a blush topper with pretty much any look I do. So this is in the shade, by the way, Nude Silk. It's like barely there kind of blush. It's, it's like a peachy color, but it doesn't really do much. It's just like, yeah. But I think, I don't think you can get anymore, actually. I think they don't have that shade anymore. But in the UK, you could because we're kind of always out of date with like American releases. But yeah, cool. And finally, what I have is the Balm uh, Hot Mama Blusher. Again, kind of a Nars Orgasm pinky gold blush. 
This is very pretty. Actually, I think it's not too glorious. I could probably use it on its own. I need to try. And voila, these are my blushes. Oh, I can't close it because of that compact. Thanks. Thanks, Kaleidos. Let's see, could I move them around? No, it's not gonna fit, is it? Hmm, that's a shame. Could I put on the side, maybe? Kind of, sort of like this. No, I don't think it's gonna fit. Well, I could put it on the side for now and decide what I'll do. Uh, let's do bronzers now. I don't have too many because I'm not really like, I mean, for me it's like I have a bronzer that works and that's about it. I had this one because I, I keep like a separate basket for my project pan so I kind of try and pick from it. Uh, but this is the MEA Bronze Perfection Matte uh, Bronzer. Uh, it's in the shade Sunset Tan, I don't know if there are multiple of them. This is a beautiful red based um, bronzer. I do really, really like it. Uh, shame that the pan is really huge, so you can't really fit it really easily. But oh, we'll find a space for it, I guess, in a second. Um, cool. So, um, let's start with like classic compacts that are easy to handle. This is the Milani Silky Matte bronzer, bronzer. This is in the shade Sunlight, which is the lightest shade. This is a beautiful cool tone bronzer. I love this one. I actually haven't used it in a while because uh, I'm reworking from my project pan. I said I don't own a lot of bronzers, but I already feel like I own too many at the moment. Uh, <laughs> so I, that's why I'm trying to work through them. Uh, so yeah, I love this. This is my favorite bronzers. Ever. I, I quite like to get like the medium shade and like both the warm and the cool one. I think that would be all the bronzers I need to be honest. But yeah, I love that one. Um, next one is Classic Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. I actually bought this um, before it was replaced by this when I was doing that kind of trying iconic cruelty free products but obviously physician's formula was not cruelty free anymore so I switched to that one but I do really like that one I really like the butter uh, formula for physician's formula which is a shame that they're not cruelty free because they make very good powders and I really like how their products are glowy satiny but they're never metallic on me. They like the perfect amount of glow if I want like a glowy blush or bronzer so I do really appreciate that uh, by the way, this is in the shade bronzer, so it's like the regular medium. I got that one because uh, I think Phys uh, I think Tailwind said that the lighter one is more orange than the medium one, so that's why I went with that one. Um, cool. And finally, I have... It's not quite a bronzer, it's a contour kit, but this is from Kaleidos, is the Charisma Contour Palette. I really, really like this. I just, I don't, oops, sorry about that. I don't really contour super often. Uh, I might get back into it, but at the moment, as I said, I'm trying to work through my bronzer, so. But this is such a nice formula, and I just really, really like them. Um, so I would highly recommend them if you want to get like a contour kit. There are only three shades, which I think they could add more, but I do find that the shades are quite good in the sense that the lighter one is like proper cool tone light and the deeper shade is like quite deep. Not as good as Neon MUA uh, collaboration with um, Midas Cosmetics uh, because that's just amazing. But like, I think it's, you know, it's better than Benefit. Hula bronzer, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that would fit actually. It, it takes a lot of space that way, but I actually don't mind it because you know what? Um, that close, yeah. Uh, for this one, I guess I could put it here for the time being. For this one, I guess I'll just have to place it here. Or I'll put in like the, I guess, a bigger box with like. Um, setting powder like loose ones. I might just do that. 
Awesome. Uh, let's do my uh, compact powders. I don't have too many, but... So I'm gonna take another tray, because uh, these are like gonna fit perfectly in there. I think I only have three. I decluttered all this because they were too... too light for me and they just didn't work. So, um, I have, first of all, the next HD finishing powder. So I got this as a freebie when I placed an order. I uh, can't remember what it was, but it came as a freebie if you ordered enough, so... I quite like it, it's quite a nice blurring powder. I don't know, I think some people say it has very strong flashbacks, which I never tried, so I don't really take flash photography in general. So, probably to be cautious around that. But yeah, just quite a nice one. Um, the next one I have, still from NYX, is the High Glass Finishing Powder. This is borderline highlightery for me. I, I can't use too much because it gives the same effect as like uh, blush top, like uh, glowy blushes. And this is not my favorite finish on me, it just looks very powder and metallic. But if I use a light hand, it does give the most beautiful glow. Uh, so I need to try it more, I haven't in a while. I wonder if it's not being discontinued, which is really a shame. But I do quite like it, it's just borderline highlightery, so be cautious around that. But if you're into glowy powders, this is quite good. Just place this, there you go. And finally, I have the Milani Prep Set Glow. This is my favorite satin setting powder. Oops, I hate that packaging. It's horrible to open. It feels so cheap. But the powder itself is absolutely amazing, in my opinion. Uh, it's just such a nice satin powder that doesn't become highlightery like the next one. It's just, it's really, really nice if you're looking for that just kind of glow from within but still set your, your foundation with it. I love that powder. It's pretty my favorite setting powder I own, actually. Um, cool. Now, for loose setting powder, let me see how we can do this. Because I don't have too many, I could probably use one of these trays, like so. Um, yeah, there you go. For now. I'm probably not planning on getting more loose powder until I finish these. Uh, this is the Fenty Pro Filter setting powder. Uh, this is in my project pan. I'm hoping to like finish it someday. I keep using it. I do really like it. I don't know if it's my favorite. I'm, I'm not sure I have found my favorite powder and it's going everywhere. I love how it smells though, because it has a nice vanilla smell. I do like scented powders. Next is the Ben Nye uh, Luxury Powder in Cameo. This is a huge classic. I do quite like it as a powder. I need to try again, but because I'm working through that one, I'm can still kind of in my mind. And finally, I have the Physician's Formula Mineral Well Loose Powder. I don't know if this is going to discontinue or not. Physician's Formula have a tendency to really roll out a lot of releases, which is a shame because they make some amazing products, but because you can't really rely on them. Again, Physician's Formula is not cruelty free anymore, uh, about a while ago. This is a really beautiful powder. Uh, it's like a glowy setting powder. I think it's a um, foundation powder actually, but it adds coverage. It just adds like a beautiful glow from within, not too sparkly or highlightery. Um, and it's just smooth as everything. It's a beautiful, beautiful powder. Finally, I have my kind of face palette. I'm gonna use like a bigger tray for these. So I don't think they're all gonna fit in there, and that's the only thing. Uh, but it's probably not gonna fit, that's the only thing. I'll try and organize it after and see if I need to change, okay? Let's start with the oldest one I own. Uh, this is the ELF um, contour palette. I'll barely use this anymore, but uh, I do really like the highlighter shade because it's like a barely there highlighter, which is mean it's beautiful to like give just a, a slight glow that looks extremely natural. Uh, but yeah, I haven't used the other powders in a while. I used to use them all the time because it was my first kind of bronzer contour palette, but I don't really use it anymore. So yeah, since we're still on contour palette, uh, let's talk about the KVD 
she plus like onto a pallet. It says Kat Von D uh, bought it after she left the company. It's just a, uh, I don't know if they updated their packaging in the US, but in the UK, I know they had loads of stocks that were still saying Kat Von D. So uh, I didn't mind having her name on there because I'm just kind of feel like it would be waste to just throw everything away. Um, I didn't care for this when I tried this, but actually it has grown on me a lot. I, I do really like it for now. I need to use it a bit more, I think, but I love these shades to like set my concealer and give a bit more coverage and highlight a bit. Um, I did, I guess before my expectations of what a contour is, was a lot more gray than it is now. So I feel like these are still contour shades. It's just that the Milani one is such a cool bronzer. It's borderline contour. So that's probably why I was kind of like, harsh on it I guess. This is a nice palette. You probably don't need that big one though. You can just get like the duos. I think it's nice if you're doing like drag stuff, but you know. Let's do another face palette. Let's do like a bronzy contour palette. This is the Lift and Sculpt Contract palette from Flower Beauty. Uh, this is not a contour. This is definitely a bronzer in my opinion. It's just too warm to be a contour. But it's a beautiful shade of bronzer for a light, fair skin tone. This, and the formula is absolutely stunning. The only thing is the blusher. It's not my favorite color, first of all, but it just completely broke down. Apparently, I'm not the only one that had that occurred to them. But the highlighter is so beautiful and pigmented and such a nice color. Same with the bronzer. And yeah, they're all very blendable. This is in my project pan, so I'm really working hard on it. Actually, I made some huge progress, as you can see with the a pan, hitting pan on these two, so happy with that. Let's do a blush palette next. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette from Jeevious Place. I bought this to kind of uh, try more, um, to try Jeevious Place, but also try more black owned uh, brands. And at first, I quite liked it, but I was not the biggest like blush wearer. I didn't wear a lot back then. I was very, I had a like natural moment in my life. I don't know how that happened, but it did. <laughs> um, which was, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. But since I've, this has really grown on me. I love this shade. This is all fairly warm. So even the move doesn't show up that move on the face. But the shade toe is so beautiful. It's pretty much like the e.l.f. shade, but slightly warmer and more blendable. Uh, it doesn't show up that way on the cheeks, but it's beautiful. It's a bit like what I want Poppy to be from uh, KVD. I really like this palette. I need to try more of this. Uh, I thought there was they were highlighter originally, but I think they're more like blush toppers really, so I need to try them. But this has really grown on me. I, I really like this palette now. Uh, finally, my last palette. This is the Alva 2 Highlighter Palette from Auden's Eye, uh, which is a Swedish uh, company. They make everything based around like um, North, Norn, North Melo myth mythology. Uh, this is the palette. These highlighters are really beautiful. Formula is not my quite favorite. I find that it doesn't show as, as smooth as it could, but the colors are beautiful and like so sparkly and intense. If you're looking for intense highlighters, these are really good. Uh, it's just that if I'm comparing to, for example, Kaleidos, uh, the Kaleidos formula I think is really one of a kind because they're very sparkly, but they, they don't look like they, they look still very smooth on the cheeks. So I don't know, but these are really beautiful. Um, this is more of a like, this is really a sparkly shape older than like, it's like a topper almost. This is obviously an icy blue. Um, hang on. They're really, really pretty and reflective. Um, I love that lavender one. I used that one in like a look I did uh, with the Arcana palette. The golden one I just used today actually, it's very pretty, it has like a, almost a dual chrome nest here with like a slight kind of pinky golden rose reflect. I really like that palette. Uh, it's very nice for like very creative looks I find. I think they have another one like the Salmon I think. 
just more of like natural colors if that's your thing. For me, if you're gonna go for like very natural highlighter, you're better off just grabbing one compact of highlighter that you like the color of and that suits you. I find palettes are pretty better if you're gonna do like more creative looks with crazy colors. That's just my opinion though. Cool. Now that I showed you everything, uh, I need to start organizing this. So I'm probably gonna speed up the whole process, but hopefully I can figure out how to make everything fit, you know. Cool, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, the only thing is, um, I don't know if I can easily grab these palettes, but I can always put them at the top. This is more my kind of more neutral uh, drawer for palettes, but I also put other things in there. So I might organize this with the other trays I have remaining at some point. Um, I was also debating putting my like cream blushes and uh, contour and highlighter here. Uh, I wouldn't to have a thing, but for now this is all I think for the video. So um, yeah, actually I, I'm glad that I, it, it really it looks really nice. It's maybe not the best because reaching there is kind of annoying, but at the same time I don't really have a choice if I want to like use up all the space. But this is looking really nice. I guess I can break it down more if I get more blushes because. It probably will make sense to create because there's a lot of different products here, so I'll probably use, probably use more of that space here. Anywho, I think that's everything for this video. As usual, thank you very much for watching. If you want to support my channel, please uh, leave a like and add a comment telling me what you thought about this video. Any engagement with my content helps me get more visibility into the YouTube algorithm, and that's always really appreciated. If you still want to support me but you don't know what comment to leave, uh, feel free to leave a comment with just that box emoji to represent organizing and cleaning and um, things. Uh, and I really appreciate your effort, thank you. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>